Hello everyone and welcome to what's going to be a very challenging build off. Now here in front of me and joined with me is Tazu and we're going to attempt to build half of a sheep. Sheep? Yes, we're going to be attempt to build half of a sheep. No, we're going to be building a ship. So I've got this half, Tazu's going to be on the other half and it should look very interesting this ship, shouldn't it Tazu? We've got two very different styles. Yeah, we do. So, so we've marked out in the center a little hangar. So hopefully we build the hangar bay in the same spot. Um, the little notch on the end is going to be the front of the ship. And this larger section at the end is going to be the rear of the ship. So wish us the best of luck. Let's get building. Would, would you say this was like a proper challenge? Like, I mean, if someone has a good friend and tries building one of these with them, you'll see just how conflicting. Yeah, yeah I would say. All right, so a little bit of update on how far we are. We just started working on the thruster area. Very rusty. Um, the rest of the ship is starting to take shape. I've built this little hydrogen storage area on the back. The hangar bay's been cut out. Starting to work towards the front area. The front area needs a bloody lot of work. We need a load of fine detail on everything as well. I think we'll start working on the hangar bay now. How's it going over there, Tazu? Oh, oh I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's uh, it's coming along. It's a difficult, it's a hard project this, isn't it? It's not a joke. Yeah, it is. I mean, I don't know. That this, this, I think there's a certain element of trying to read what the other person's going to do and then make it so it'll adapt. But at the same time, you, you are building your own ship. And it's like build, it's like being lost, isn't it? You're like totally lost on that side. Yeah, and also seeing how you build from a wall, that gives the impression of you're building a spaceship thingy, not a spaceship. I think that adds a lot mm, to it. I think you're right. So it has come to this point, the point where the time has run out. Now that we've finished off, which has to, we, 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 we're going to need a lot of more time to actually get this thing to probably work. Have, have we got enough up and down thrusters and things as well? Mm, I have none pointing up. Okay, I have none pointing up or down, so so it's not that it's super functional. Um, I'm just going to start spinning my camera over to your side just to see what you've came up with, because everyone's seen what I've built already so far. Oh god, this is quite interesting. It looks very Halo-esque. It's got a very Halo-esque sort of feel uh, to it. It's got like yeah. an intake at the front, and it kind of loops around the back. Let's turn the light a little bit so we can see with a little bit more detail. The, car, the sort of bridge area is really good. You spent a lot of time trying to get interior done, didn't you, as well? I started off that way, but I will merge the ships together now. Oh, yeah, you started. Okay, how are you going to merge the ships together? Are we just going to cut them at that fine line? Yeah, Okay. Put a merge so, block in the middle. They are together, though, aren't they, technically? Say again? Aren't they together, technically, already? Yeah, I guess, but if we do like this... What, what, what have we done? do we do? Oh, now stick them together. Oh my yeah. god, Tassie, this ship actually doesn't look half bad. No, it looks quite nice, actually. Let's, let's finish the stick together. Do you want me to delete one and stick it together for us? Uh, no, if you just move your ship slightly to the right, they should fuse together. Uh, how, how will that work? There's a merge block on your part and on my part as well. Okay, I'm going to go to the cockpit. I don't know if I've got too much thrust, though. Um... F6. Alright, I'm doing the gentle thrust. Okay, how's it going? Yeah, good, looking good. Okay, Tender we merged. have become one ship. What you know what Tazu? This this ship, I think it's got like a bit of something to it, to be honest. I mean the people that go really mad over, you know, things not being what they call it, like symmetrical. symmetrical. But yeah. I mean it's got this sort of weird but interesting intrigue to it, hasn't it? Where the yeah. shape, the shapes still flow into each other. Some, this is definitely something I'd recommend. Is there any bits of the ship you want to highlight, in particular that you worked on? I like the front and the end. They fit oh, together really well. Yeah, the front, the front came together really well. The back, I think the back came together because it looks like you actually went down. You know, the same sort of engine sort of styling as me, but just at, you know, like at a different sort of angle. Yeah. And then you, you all, you built like an outboard engine though on the right. But I don't know. Still, still, it's quite, quite interesting. And your hangar bay is also much lower. Where my one, I think, my hangar bay connects up through as like, you know, like just like a maintenance sort of dockway into yours. So, yeah. but still very, very beautiful. It's just, it would just take a long time to maybe just like work out a few of the bugs. I quite like the round bit on mine. Um, the circle? Know, the, the little circle engine bay on the side. Yeah. I, could, I could see this being a pretty usable ship, to be honest. Like there's nothing super like, oh no, that's going to ruin the design. 
There's no um, interior well, whatsoever. Well, we'll just have to let the people make the mind up of which half is their favourite. The big question is, does it even fly? <laughs> now, we've got enough gyroscopes, but we've not got up and down thrusters. So yeah. are, are you hopping into the cockpit and you want to just give it like a little bit of spin? I can do. There's nothing I can hit there, is there? Well, this, they probably know. This, I don't think there's even a door. You'll have to just levitate your way in there and just pop yeah, the I'm controls inside. open. Okay, so give us a little bit of an acceleration sample because... Someone else is using the ship, it says. Oh, is it me? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm using it, so I'll just have to do the demo of the control. You didn't wire up all your thrusters at the back, did you, as well? They are wired up, so I, I can't see why they're not working. Right, acceleration is not super fast. It's bad, actually. What's what's the um, stopping rate? Stopping rate's pretty good. It's, it's slowing down. Them heavy thrusters you put on the front are doing a really good service. I mean, yep. building a half a ship this way is, is just is a weird way of doing it, isn't it? Like, building maybe the front and the back, you can have something that looks much nicer. But from, from the other side, if you just turn yourself around, it looks like a totally different ship if you view it from that angle. It's almost like it's some sort of trickery. Um, let's try um, using our gyroscopes. Uh, gyroscope's not that bad turning, to be honest. Still a bit stiff. Open down thrust mm. is absolutely useful. I don't know where we'd stick the up and down thrusters either. Did you have any ideas for that? No. All right. I had down thrusters where I had my refineries. I thought I could put them. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could like integrate into a second circle on your side or something. But anyway, just just a rather interesting build. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this today. You'll have to pick your favourite side, or maybe just get really upset about the lack of um, what's what's that word again? Tazu, escaping, escaping. Symmetry. On. The lack of symmetry. Yeah. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.